it's uh, Dave from Drunk Box Guitars. Um, this is just going to be a tutorial on trying to understand four string CBG cigar box guitar tuning options. Um, I remember um, I'd made a few three stringers already back in, I think it would be about 2013, but I'd never seen a four stringer cigar box guitar uh, until, and I was living in Canada at the time. Um, until I saw one in a store in Calgary and I picked it up I was, I was intrigued but I had absolutely no idea it just confused the hell out of me and uh, I'm hoping that this uh, video will help all of you kind of understand I guess uh, it's the way that I finally could understand and that was mainly by um, relating it to what I already knew uh, so, for example, with a four-stringer, I mean, you've got three different options of choices of strings as to how to tune. You can use, if you've got a six-string set, you can use the high four strings, going from the first string, the E, B, G, D strings. You can use the middle set of strings, which will be the B, G, D, and A strings. Or you can use the bottom set, uh, which a few players do. I, I never do that, actually, but it's actually quite nice. Um, if, if you've got that tuned... Uh, from the low E, E, A, D, G, you can actually just play uh, the bottom part of your chords and it kind of gives you a tenor guitar kind of sound. So that's a really good option. Uh, I mainly use either the middle set of strings or the top set of strings. Um, so briefly, the first uh, choice I'll show you is using the top set. So like I said, I found it easiest once I could relate it to what I already knew on guitar like I said, is to relate it to a six string. So six string guitar, and you're gonna end up with a four string. Uh, this first lot of examples is uh, going to be using the high set, the E, B, G, D strings. So once again, standard tuning. So what in essence you have with the four string guitar using those strings is, try and give you a, a visual here you've removed your two bottom strings. So you've got a four string. Standard tuning. Now that is one of the options in that, um, uh, using the high pitch set of strings. Uh, you can use leave it standard tuning and that's really good if you, for example, know how to play ukulele, but have never got your head around guitar. Your ukulele chords will work on this. Any song you play will be fine, except it'll be in a different key because what you know as a G chord is in fact a G chord played up here on a guitar, a D shape. So when you're playing it down here, it's a D. So anyway, there's that change, but uh, you can keep that. Um, this is one of, my two favorite tunings are using the high set or the low set. This high set is a really good option because all you need to do is tune your high E string down to a D, which I'll show you on this little guitar. That would be E, tuned down to a D. So what we've got is basically, I'm gonna tape off the two strings we don't need. We've got the, going from the fourth string, D, G, B, and E string. Your E string is now tuned down to a D. So, the neat thing is that three strings are your standard tuning, your B, G, and D strings stay tuned. So any regular chord shapes on those can be used. Um, let's go for something very familiar. Um, let's go for a, a G bar. Now this would be if you tuned standard, if this was still an E string. So you've got a G note, B note, a D note, and a G note. But this is tuned down to D, so this is D. This is actually F. What you've got to do always is move your shape two frets up. So this actually becomes your new chord shape. And it's really easy to um, get used to that. In fact, this is actually like banjo tuning minus your high G drone string and I've never actually seen banjo instructors who play guitar 
referring to the fact that it's really a regular chord shapes with whatever is played on your first string to, uh, moved up to two frets. Let's do another quick one just to give you a quick idea. So now you've got, say, your D shape. Got your D. Oops. Your notes in your D chord. Or it's on the fourth string, you've got F sharp, A, D note, and another F sh sharp. But this note is not actually F sharp anymore. It's D, E flat. This is an E note. You need to move it up two frets. So, so this becomes your new shape. This is actually your adjusted D shape. It's a very cool and simple thing. What is really nice is that now you've got your D. Like so. Referring to the, uh, the uh, ukulele before, like if you normally play a G up here and that D shape, this is now your D shape. So you've got a G straight across as your D chord. See, so this is open G tuning. some lovely chords uh, if you just let strings ring so remembering this is now a D note not an E if you play what would be a C chord you actually need to put your finger on two frets high that's your C chord you got E G C and E again but what is nice is if you just let it ring out C add 9, C add D note. So that's really good. Other really cool thing about this is that you can easily I'll plug this Use those same set of strings, because remember you're tuned using the D, G, B, and E strings, but you can tune it to an open D chord. D, D F sharp, A, D. Once again, all you have to do with your chords in these four string things is work out where the third of your chord is. That's what makes major or minor sound. So D, F sharp, A, D. F sharp is the major third. So anywhere straight across is gonna be a major chord. D chord, G chord, fifth fret, seventh fret, A chord. But the neat thing is the second string that you hit, is your third major or minor. Move back the sh that one string, but keep the others on. So you got D major, E minor, F sharp minor, G, G. So, really good. Using that top set of strings, you can have Open G, um, change another couple of, retune another couple of strings you have open D, you could drop it down to open C if you like. Um, so a lot of nice options there. So that's that. Um, gonna go now to talking about uh, the next set that you can choose is gonna be the middle set of strings. So in this, you've got, I'm going to remove all our writing here. You've got your middle.
middle set of strings. So you, you lose your two E strings. E strings gone. E strings gone. Once again, you've got three strings which are standard tuning. This time it's B, G, D string. The A string is the one you need to retune. So this is going to become a G note. What you do have now is G, D, G, like the three string cigar box guitar tuned in open G with the B string. This is the string that you have to uh, compensate for. So any regular chord shapes on these three strings, the B, G, D strings, will stay standard. Give you a quick demo of that. This um, also gives a, a fatter sound. Basically, this, this one, lose your two E strings, really visualize, say, an A minor shape. You've got that there. You can play that. This would be a C chord. This string, this note, needs to be moved up, which is a bit hard to reach. Excuse me, so forget about playing it. Just play it like an A minor 7. Once again, you've got a really nice, sorry, I've got a faulty chord here. advantage of being able to retune it to say like open D really uh, but it's a great sound an advantage like I said is that you've got GDG like the three string cigar box guitar so if you're familiar with that you're well on the way So, open G like that. Um, advantages, like I said, of the high set of strings is that you can do things like this. Standard tuning, open G, D, G, B, D. Open D, D, F sharp, A, D. Uh, the top part of dad gad. So you've got D, G, A, D. Open G minor, D, G, B flat, D. Open D minor, D, F, A, D. Open C, C, G, C, E. So a lot of tunings, if you have, the one that's uh, the top set of strings, the high set of strings. Um, great. And lastly, of course, you can go to the low set. And I don't know where my sheet is, but like I explained before, that is basically just your, your low E, A, D and G string. Your sixth, fifth, fourth and third strings. Uh, and you just play the bottom part of your chords that you know. Good sound, uh, just one that I never use. I hope this kind of um, throws a bit of light on how to think of it. I really found, as soon as I could visualize how they were related to chord shapes I already knew, and say, um, in this middle tuning, knowing that the A string is now a G note, not an A. That's one to you, but three strings are tuned standard, you know? Really 
helped uh, with the high set of strings, it really helped just to realize that my first string was no longer an E note, it was a D note. And all you have to do is move any chord shape that you know just on that one string up two frets. So like I said, hope this has uh, made things a little bit clearer. Uh, cheers for now. Take care everybody. Uh, we're in the midst of this COVID crisis everywhere. Uh, we've been lucky here in Australia. We managed to sort of flatten the curve very early. Um, so thank God for that. Uh, cheers. Take care. Bye for now.